You might think that a company that names its cars after different sized sheets of paper lacks a bit of imagination. Take a look at the new Audi A3, which is remarkably similar to the previous car, and you may start to agree. But just because Audi is playing safe with the styling, that doesn't mean its latest three-door hatch isn't an innovative machine. It follows the firm's ultra-lightweight design ethos and promises a double whammy of improved performance and economy. That's pretty much the pitch of its arch-rival, the BMW 1 Series. So this A3 is going to have to be something really special if it wants to steal sales from its fellow German. Prices start at just over £19,000 for a rather basic SE Spec 1.4 version. If you want the range-topping 1.8 TFSI in S-Line Spec, expect to pay more than £26,000. But if you look carefully, you'll notice the chubbier Audi grille, framed by LED daytime running lights, and the sharp creases along the sides of the car that run from the headlights to the tail lights. These give it a more macho chisel look. OK, so it may not look that different on the outside, but it's the things you can't see on the new A3 that are really important. Around 80 kilograms has been shaved off the weight of this car by swapping steel for aluminium at the front end and by cutting the weight of other components under the skin. That diet is really good news for drivers. It translates into some pretty athletic prowess. The 1.8 TFSI, the car we're driving, dispenses with the 0-60 dash in just over 7 seconds. We've yet to put the A3 through our comprehensive fuel economy tests, but Audi claims the new engines will achieve between 50 and 69 mpg. That's an average of 12% lower than the old A3. The new chassis makes the Audi A3 feel well balanced and really good to drive on winding roads and the Quattro four-wheel drive system in this model ensures that it will stick to the road like glue. Two gearboxes are offered, a six-speed manual and a seven-speed Vestronic. Later in 2012, Audi will introduce an eco-friendly 1.6 diesel. This will have CO2 emissions of 99 grams and will qualify for free car tax. Hot hatch lovers will be really pleased to hear that a powerful S version is promised further ahead, while city dwellers might be interested in the electric A3. The A3's cabin is up to Audi's usual impeccable standards. There's a lot of soft touch plastics, a good feeling steering wheel and these air vents that seem to have been borrowed from the Audi TT. Opt for MMI Touch and you can write the address you want to get to onto the screen one letter at a time. The sat-nav should then recognise the word and set your course. If this seems too much work, you can just use a system with voice control. With a larger wheelbase than before, this A3 gives front and back seat passengers a bit more headroom. Boot space increases too, from 350 to 365 litres. That's enough for two reasonably sized suitcases. The new Audi A3 is much more than a clean sheet of paper. Under its conservatively styled skin is a superbly well-engineered car. It's more agile and faster than before. Whether it's good enough to be class leader remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, the new A3 is definitely going to give BMW and other rivals a real run for their money. This is the Witch one minute review of the Ford Cougar, a small 4x4 that competes with the likes of the Nissan Qashqai and Volkswagen Tiguan. If the Cougar looks like a pumped up Ford Focus, that's basically because it is. Many parts are the same under the skin, including the engines, but that's no bad thing as it means affordable running costs and servicing. The Cougar's quite stiffly sprung, but the ride doesn't crash through potholes and over speed humps and there's very little body roll when cornering. The steering is light, but it offers plenty of feedback through the wheel, and the brakes performed excellently in our tests. This more powerful 163 brake horsepower diesel stays quiet and refined, even at motorway speeds, and it's fairly quick off the mark too, although as with most diesels, it's the in-gear acceleration that really impresses. To watch the full video for the Ford Cougar and read reviews for hundreds of other cars, go to witch.co.uk forward slash cars.